left feet this morning around 5 a.m. And now I'm here at the Glacier Lagoon, but I'm not on my own. There is a whole team of photographers already down there. And then waves, them waves look really strong. So I'm guessing that's really windy here. So I think I'm gonna wrap up, make myself a coffee and get down to the beach. Right, let me tell you, this ain't easy. It's pretty, unbelievably pretty, and I love video in here, but for photography, I'm finding this hard, I really am. There is just so many of these icebergs, and the, the sea's quite aggressive, and every time you kind of frame up, the sea will come in and change the composition totally. Coupled with the fact that you've got the sun always directly in front of the camera, unless you want to shoot along the shoreline, which in my opinion, that just makes it look hideous. There's just too many of them. So yeah, as pretty as this is, getting an image here, it ain't easy. Right, well, I'm gonna give this up because uh, as you can tell by the brightness of my face, the sun's really high now and um, we've lost all the good light and to be honest with you I didn't even make the good light I had a 200 kilometer drive this morning so um, I didn't get any good light at all so yeah I think I'm just going to be here just for the sake of being here which is not good and all the photographers have left and what's turning up now is <laughs> sorry how rude was that what's turning up now <laughs> I'll tell you what's turning up now bus falls of really happy people just pleased to be here just laughing and joking and taking great photos on the back of their iPhones that's what's turning up now it's just people like me that are bitching and moaning who's leaving well I've come back down to the Diamond Beach for sunrise this morning and it's a beautiful start to the day there's hardly any wind which is nice and there's just a little bit of cloud just above the horizon which is going to hopefully extend the, uh, the time that I can get some images. Right, let's get set up and let's get on that beach. Right, well at the moment I found, I think, two compositions that may work. Um, and I'm right at the end of the beach. In fact, everybody is, is just walking straight down to the other end. But it might be because they know something that I don't. And you can see here that that is literally the end. And I think the tide is now starting to come in. So I'll start at the end here because I've got nowhere to run and then I'll start working my way further along the beach, more into a bit more open space. At the moment, this is looking beautiful. Right, that tide is coming in really fast now. Um, I've got two graduated filters on there, a 0.9 and a 0.6, which is giving me an exposure of about 3.2 seconds. And I'm also shooting at f8. But this is looking really good. I'm just waiting for one more big wave to come in, and then I'm gonna move to the other composition a little bit further up, because this is getting a little bit dangerous here. Well, not dangerous, but I could get wet. Right, well I think I've got the shot that I wanted. The sun is just coming up and we've got a really nice big wave to give me some blurred movement. So I think I'm really, really hoping this is the shot that I've been waiting for. Every day here, the landscape changes. Every morning you come, it's a totally different composition and today is no exception. I'm back in the corner that I was in yesterday and the icebergs that I was imaging have completely gone. In fact, it's quite barren down this end of the beach, but there is one 
crystal clear, beautiful iceberg. Now the waves are not coming in like they did yesterday, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, so what I'm doing now, I'm just waiting. I've taken some images in like the blue hour and it was beautiful light, but it wasn't really illuminating that iceberg. So I'm just waiting now for that sun just to come up and I'm hoping we'll get some really nice oranges shining through the ice. Well, I think this is a good time to end this video down on the Diamond Beach. It's a stunning place, it really is. It's been a real pleasure to be here, even though getting some of the images, it's not easy, it really isn't. But I've enjoyed myself so much, and not just here, the surrounding areas as well are, are, are stunning, and you haven't got to drive far for some fantastic landscape photography. So once again, I'd like to thank you all ever so much for watching, and until the next time, bye for now.